Hey y'all. Um, I'm out here in my garden, which is completely overgrown. This year, I let it go. Anyways, uh, my laptop is my camera. Um, I wanted to show you one plant. I'm going to show you this plant in my uh, garden. But look, it's completely wild, overgrown. Call it weeds if you want. And uh, it's all medicinal. But this, it's a tree now. This poke weed right, right here. I leave this one here for the birds. This one's just outside my little garden area and like, it's monstrous. I'm using my laptop to film this so it, um, see if I can get a shot from back here. This, this one grows up like nine feet tall. It's a Phytolacca Americana. Um, the birds really like it. I don't mess with this one. I leave it for the birds to come visit. Anyways, my battery's low. So this is going to be short, but this is called Pokeweed Phytolacca Americana. And um, it's poison. Yeah. This is a poisonous plant, right? Paracelsus said poison is in the measure, not the matter itself so in small amounts I found this for me to be beneficial and I'm not saying it for anyone to go out and like mess with this plant but it it uh has been proven to have antiviral proteins and it uh killed the HIV in mice and I was on a walk a few years ago and this plant started telling me that I needed it and I was really sick with a uh, hepatitis C virus and I made a tincture from the root this plant which cured me of that problem anyways I'm trying to read your comments too yeah hey Emil see uh, they say rinse the shoots and throw out the water, yeah. And then last night I found a video on YouTube of these like elder women in Appalachia who say they just eat the whole plant. They chop it up and just fry it up and eat it. And so you find one trained school of thought that says, you know, don't even get near it. It'll kill you. And then you talk to these elders that use it all the time. But this ink, this berry here, this crushes up. It makes a nice, beautiful, like, uh, violet ink. And um, the un Constitution, the United States of America Constitution was uh, written with ink made from this berry of the Phytolacca Americana plant. So this one here, this huge one, I leave this one for the birds, but they planted one or one came up in my garden. Actually, a couple, and I let it grow. And when the leaves turn and it, uh, the essence of the plant goes down into the roots, like in late September, I'll dig up the root from this one from my garden. And I'm going to use that to make some more tincture. I still have, I made a whole quart of tincture a year and a half ago and I still have it in my refrigerator but I'm gonna use this one and make a new one hey Heather how you doing uh yeah here's where I'm at look I took this camper apart it's five hundred and thirty five dollars and it was all moldy I put a new floor in it and I gotta get a roof on it but I'm kinda under this tarp and it's home but I built a little porch on it and it's like my work area I got a little workbench um oh 
Anyway, sorry about the camera work. This is a laptop, but yeah, I built this outside my front door. I got like a little bench and a little workbench. Like I can saw wood over here, make knickknacks. I built a little ledge for my cat to come in and out. She's free range kitty. She comes out. I open this window at night. She jumps down, but I'm getting off track, and like I just wanted to show that plant Phyto Laca Americana. Y'all should look into it. It's poison, but Paracelsus said, uh, "What? When did he? What was he? 15th century? Poison's not in the matter; it's in the measure. So you know, it's like one berry." Then they say the poison's mostly in the root and in the berries. Um, but if you dry the berries, that's how I first started uh, taking this plant was I dried the berries because they say the poison's in the seed. But if you dry it and swallow it like a pill, you can't digest the poison in it, but you get the benefits. But at this point, I'll just eat a handful of them because my intuition is what I trust. And, and I found this on a walk with intuition, like the plant started, uh, yeah, can't. the plant was talking to me on a walk on, um, in West Pelzer on Ballard Road, there was one of these in bloom and, uh, and, uh, it, I was really ill two years ago. This is the plant that I'm grateful to have. Like, it called me over. Anyways, there's other ones, too, that I'm going to share, like the Chinese privet. So I'm trying to put these up for other people I could share. And, like, I'm not giving any recommendations for anybody or trying to say any medical advice. we got to have a disclaimer. I'm just speaking my experience, you know, on the reels. So, yeah, I intuited into it. I looked into it in here. I tuned in. I connected this with my heart. And then, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, I'm going to cut this off because I got to plug it in. I'm charging that. Look at that big dumb machine. I got my cord run out to charge the battery of that thing. I'm like the groundskeeper out here, sort of. So, um, I love you all. Be mindful of your health, you know, and try to. Enjoy your day and uh, look into this poke weed, poke salad, they call it, S-A-L-L-E-T. They used to sell it in cans. They used to can the leaves and sell it. But uh, look into it. You know, if you know anyone that has viral virus infection, it's other things too it helps with anyway just peace out i'm gonna shut this video off i'll try to make some more videos this week uh maybe later tonight that's it the uh dandelion tincture i'm gonna strain those off i made it from just the flowers a pint of it anyways i hope you all have a good evening and thanks for like checking this out adios i love you